Greetings all and welcome to today's today's video to Dave's craft room. <laughs> Greetings all and welcome to Dave's craft room and today's quilt project is all about mustaches. We will be making a mustache themed quilt for our nerves. So I have here my drawer of supplies. I also have this mustache fabric. I had bought this pack of COVID masks a while ago, knowing that when I retired the masks, they would end up in a quilt. And so now is the time because these are so stunning. And um, I just love these masks. But it's time to retire them, they're pretty old. And then in addition to that, I have the rest of my collection of mustache fabric that I've pulled. And it's just kind of a lot of different random things that I'll show you. I must ask you a question. This very cream colored one. I think the end result is gonna be black and brown and um, gray, like very creamy looking. This is from a t-shirt and this is actually velvet. These are blocks that I ordered on eBay. I don't know how many they are, but this is more mustache. This is a shirt. Now, in my humble opinion, the shirt is a little bit ugly. I do love the design uh, for fabric for a quilt. Not necessarily for a t-shirt that anybody would wear, but this was a thrift store find. I also love the buttons. I definitely will save the buttons when I cut this up. But, you know, we this is a large size too, so we could use like this as a block. This can be a block, you know. I'm hoping to get a lot of blocks out of this. A lot of fabric. This is another t-shirt. <clears throat> a mustache means business. And then I think we can use these pieces of flannel for the backing. We'll just sew these together. I think that's going to be enough. I'll have to see how much this is. That should work. So what design are we going to do? For some reason, I'm feeling squares. So I'm going to cut squares. I don't really know what size yet. This size, probably. This is nine and a half inches. And that's a good size. Or maybe this size. This is ten inches. No, I think this size. And then when things are bigger, we just, the thing beside it will be smaller so that it takes up the size of two. So it won't be 100% everything fits in this. We'll make it work so that everything fits and is beautiful and lovely. For the t-shirts, I will sew on this. This is the interfacing that I'm gonna use for the t-shirts. This one already has it on before I put it in the stash. How big is this? Yeah, we could do nine and a half inches and then it's obviously longer. You know what? I think I'll do 10. It's, um, it's obviously longer. So we'll do like, maybe we'll put a mask here and we'll put black. I pulled black, you know, we'll sew black on either side to make it fit. And that'll be that. There's also going to be a very strange and interesting scientific experiment. This is burlap. Now I have never used burlap in a quilt. I never would use burlap in a quilt, especially this kind. I've seen it done before, but some burlap is like a, a much tighter weave and it's a lot softer. This is a very loose weave and it is not soft either. So, um, that's why it's an experiment. It's going on the top of the quilt. It's not going on the back. So in terms of softness, the flannel is what's on the back. That's what really matters for the softness. I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna sew it onto a foundation and I'm gonna essentially quilt it onto that foundation. So I'm gonna sew probably like around the mustaches with black ink or black thread and do it that way. I won't use, too, I won't use very many maybe only four, but I, I think it's gonna add a lot of interest. And I love, you know, the burlap. It conjures kind of like 
barbershop and like old timey stuff. So that's why I like it. But I can't use too much of it. It's not soft. It's not gonna be good to use, but it's a scientific experiment. We'll see if it even works. In all honesty, it may fall apart and I'll have to come up with something else, but we're gonna try it. So let's get started. The first step is gonna be to process all of this stuff and get everything kind of cut into blocks. Cut the shirt up. I'm gonna get started. So we're back, it's the second day, and I'm like 80% done with cutting these. These are the blocks, the full size. These are gonna be sewn into blocks like a puzzle. So these pieces are bigger than or less than this size, and we're gonna fit them to make it perfect. But before that, I was struck by the sudden inspiration based off of this book. This is the beard coloring book. I actually wanna make a whole quilt inspired by these pages. But I think for now we're gonna do kind of a proof of concept. So my idea is to take one of them and I've selected one already. It is, this was the one I selected. I think I'm gonna do this one because the mustache is so mustachey and then the rest is just lines. What we're gonna do is applique. I'm gonna first thing make a photocopy of this so I don't have to ruin the original page. Cut it out and um, Raw edge applique, all the stuff, and then use the sewing machine to do line work. And I'll do eyebrows as well with fabric and applique that on and make it look stunning. So let's do it, I'm gonna try. We'll see how this turns out. Let's make a copy. Good, that's perfect. Thought I had transfer paper, but I can't find it. These are the colors I'm gonna use. This is like a, light gray with kind of sunshines and this is lightning bolt found it
so I've already ironed on the flexi fuse and now I'm using carbon paper to transfer the image to the paper side of the flexi fuse and then I cut out the head and the beard peel off the paper and iron it onto the background. I used the holes in the cutout face to make sure that the eyebrows and the mustache were in the right place before I ironed them on. I'm doing raw edge applique to sew it down. Then I trace the face on with the carbon paper again and use the free motion foot to sew the lines in. This turned out ridiculously good. I cannot believe it turned out this good. And obviously I'm gonna have to make a whole quilt of these. Uh, so that'll be an upcoming video. I am very excited. Let's cut it to size. So stunning. So I'm going to finish making all my blocks and getting all my blocks done.
This is so stunning. I love it. Let's get a backing together. So it looks like we're gonna have extra length on the backing. So I'm gonna cut some of the length off, sew it onto the side of this one. And it's gonna be ugly, but it will have mustaches on it, and it will have flannel. I don't think it'll be that ugly, I think it'll be okay. So let me do that. If you like this video, I must ask you to subscribe to my channel. I bring you new quilt videos every Tuesday. All right, so the quilt is finished and it is stunningly gorgeous. The name of this quilt is Mustache Means Business. I finished the machine quilting. I washed it in the washer. The burlap, I mean, it's it's performing as expected. Like we knew it wasn't going to be soft or nothing. But again, it's on the top of the quilt, the surface, not the part that touches you. So I felt like that's fine. I used it sparingly. This block is weirdly fading, which is an ominous portent. But uh, these are, the rest of them are fine. So I love the design of the quilt. I love it. I love mustache means business. And that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching and please come again.